everyone. Welcome to Kelly's Creative Dream Studios. It is Wednesday afternoon, and I am putting together our week two challenge piece to use to do two file index cards, stenciling, quote, and book page. So, I'm not going to get this completely done today because paste has to dry. And I'm using this, the cream paste from Stemperia. And the Distress, Distress Grid Paste Glow in the Dark from Ranger. So, I want to show you what we're doing so far. I want to start with the basics. Number one, if you don't know what a file index card is, it's this. It has the file tab on the top. Now, I didn't want to use a green one. Um, and I could have used green because it's one of the colors, but I didn't want the lines. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make your own file card. Now, if you have... A punch board this is so much easier but if you don't have a punch card or punching board envelope punch board you can simply start with a piece of cardstock that is three and a half by five because you know your standard index card is three by five but you need the extra for the tab so you're going to start with a three and a half by five and then you're going to take a ruler <laughs> Excuse me. Let me get a brighter color that I haven't done. Let me start with something you can see. How's that sound? I'm using up my Recollections cardstock, or I'm trying. So we're going to start by cutting a piece that is three and a half by five. Okay? That simple. Now, I get a hold of the form, get a hold of the trimmers, I move off the table. Now what you want to do is you want to measure down, take your pencil, and I, I've had two of them here, and now I can't find a single one. There we go. You're going to measure down a half inch, okay? And so I'm going to measure a half inch on both ends of the long side of the card, Okay. Now you can come back and you can erase your lines with an Artie Rental eraser pencil. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and connect those lines. And then I'm going to come over barely an eighth inch. And I'm going to come up here at the top. And I'm going to come up barely an eighth inch right here. And then I want my tab to be about an inch and a half long. So I'm going to do that. Now if I wanted to do this with the tab in the middle, I'd find my middle and I would come in, which would be two and a half, and I'd come out an inch on either side, and that would give me my center tab. But we're just, I'm just doing one on the end. And so what you're going to do then is take your scissors, and you're going to clip this one off. Now see, this is very small, but that gives you your, just kind of curve it off like that. And then this one, come in here. Come in with your scissors. So if you don't have a file tab card, index card, you can make one. <coughs> you can choose to round this off with your scissors. I'm going to come in here with my mini corner rounder from Hobby Lobby. And I really didn't round that off too good. So let's do that. And do that. <laughs> I can get them to match up. Silly tremors. Always creating havoc with me. Okay, and then you can just come in with your art eraser and erase that line. And anything you're going to do to this card is probably going to cover it up either. But there you have your index card. Okay, now, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> Let me show you where I'm at. <coughs> I have this drawing. What I did was I added a little bit of Mango Melody Reinker to the Tim Holtz Glow Grit Paste. <clears throat> now, I do not know if this is going to glow because I've added the reinker to it or not. I can't tell. But you cannot dry your grit paste with a dryer. You can put it in front of a cool fan 
or if you have a cool setting on your gun, you can do that, hair dryer, something. But otherwise, you just need to lay it aside and let it dry, and that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> Before I do that, my initial thought was to create the moon, and I'll tell you how I did that in a minute, then mask it off with the Tim Holtz um, base moon, <coughs> from his moon collection and then I was going to stencil over the whole thing with my birch tree stencil from Stampin' Up. Not going to work because I have to let this dry. So I'm not even sure I'm going to use the birch tree. We'll see. But to create my circle I cut a, a circle from this It's called Specialty Stencil Show-Offs. It's an adhesive flexible stencil. There's two sheets to the package. And you can just cut your mask out and then you've got your center for doing your stencil in, which is what I did here. Now my stencil part is laying in water to soak off and that's the other important thing, is once you use your paste to do stenciling, you need to get them in water ASAP or they will dry, okay? So I'm not gonna use the moon on this one. And I'm going to try not to lose it until I can get my moon stuff put away. <coughs> but re <coughs> Darn it. <coughs> I don't know what is wrong. I was doing just fine until I got on here to re record. So remember we have to use, we're going to make two of these file index cards. And on each one we have to have stenciling a quote, and a book page. And since I'm using the um, Hocus Pocus kit from Stampin', uh, from Spectrum Art Creations, I thought this was a good way to use this, and I've just pulled down some uh, dictionary index, or dictionary paper to use. So, let's do one of these together. Let's go ahead and use our yellow. Actually, let's use the orange, because yellow is not one of our colors, and that helps me bring in my colors. And that was the other thing with this one. I have my black. I have, I don't have orange on here, but I've got, I have purple, and there is orange in the back of here, so I'm kind of okay. We're fluffing that one just a little bit. So with this one, we're going to use just regular cream paste from Stamperia, and I want to do... <coughs> Just the trees over here on this side. And I have this sealed with my press and seal. Because I do not want this stuff drying out. And it will if you don't keep it covered and cover it well. So I have it really wrapped up good with my press and seal. Actually, you know what? So that I don't have to worry about this drying, let me do something different. Let's not use that. Let's use inks. We can do inks. So let's do, I thought I had my, here it is. Let's, let's do the, no, I don't want to use Smoky Slate. Let's use our early espresso from Stampin' Up! will be a give us a brown. And let's start up here at the top. Now see, this is where that other stencil sheet comes in handy because it is, um, it has an adhesive to it. And I really like that. Let me try. I don't have my makeup brush ones, brush ones over here. They're over in the other container. Let's try our, let's use an actual stencil brush. We're going to wrinkle, ink it up good. And that's not really inking up either, so let's just go directly to. Now, I'm not getting this very dark, and I'm okay with that. Wow. Does not want to. And I just re-inked all of my ink pads when I did the catalog them on them not too long ago. Like, within the last month. And I'm not sure that using okay there we 
go. And then we have our tree back there. And I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to do it again. Now let's just cover the whole background with our trees. A uh, temporary adhesive would work good on the back of this to hold your stencil in place. I hate stencils that move and that's why I like using the uh, flex adhesive stencils and creating my own because they stick to the paper. They don't go anywhere. There we go. That'll work. That will work. And now I don't have to worry about drying. I could have used the cream paste, but this way I don't have to wait for it to dry. Okay, so we have our stenciling. We need a quote, and I'm going to pull out another one from the Hocus Pocus. Um, here we go. I don't know, every time I see this... <coughs> This tree thing, I think of uh, the song uh, Little Red Riding Hood. Just pops up. I don't want to do the You'll Be Younger in the Morning thing. I Let's do the I Smell Children. Because <clears throat> if you remember in the movie... Binks' sister went walking through the woods as she was drawn through the woods. Now what I did was I went ahead and instead of having this whole just straight linear thing, I came in with my scissors, really trimmed it down, and this one I need to come up, and I kind of shaped it out around the letters a little bit. So I've got peaks and valleys. And I'm trying to do this without cutting anything off. <laughs> when you deal with essential tremors, one of the things that I'm learning, and my sister, I've watched my sister for several years deal with these, is you just have to learn what you can and cannot do the way you've always done them and find an alternative. So I have found that bracing my hands helps a lot. Okay, so now we're going to use this one, and we're going to dust it with the uh, black soot. I don't know what color we're going to put it on. Well, we'll probably put it on the purple because we need to add some purple onto here. That would probably help. Now remember, you need to make two of these, and you don't have to make them identical. You don't have to use the same color. You can do whatever your little heart desires. And these will go, either they can form a pocket on your page, or you can um, use them as a tag in your pocket. Now, I've talked about this before. If you tear your paper with your hands <coughs> toward you, you're going to get that white. Okay, and that's fine because you can always distress it with a different color. But if you don't want that, like I did on this one, see there's no white and I didn't distress it. And I'll show you how you do that. You tear towards, you take your right hand and go backwards. No. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Except that's going to be too small. So let me reverse this. I'm going to tear this edge off. And see, when I pull towards me, this side has the white, but the right side, the side in my right hand, does not. Because you're, it's like tearing off the top of your paper. Okay? Now, if I turn this around, I'm going to have to remember to tear in reverse. There we go. I just can't get my brain to work. And I'm not standing up, and I'm hoping I'm staying in frame. I'm dealing with a pinched nerve. So, sitting is high on my list right now. Now, I don't want this edge here, so I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to come around, and I'm just going to tear that off. 
and then I'll see how much of this I need just like that and I'm going to tear this off a little bit longer because then I can come around and I can tear it off where the white doesn't show okay and then I'm going to come in with my Tombow and I'm going to go ahead and glue this down but then we still have the book page to do so let me get to the book page so we'll glue this down first just like that and see there's not a lot of border around there but that's okay I don't want a lot of border I want the quote to be the center of attention I got a little glue ooze there so we'll do that it's getting warm in this office. Today was a nice, warm, toasty day, and all I wanted to do was take a pain pill and sleep. That doesn't sound like any fun, does it? Okay, now I have a book page to use, and I thought I left my stack down here, but I didn't. So let me pull my stack with my book pages. Handy. I still need to finish putting these away. But I know I've got dictionary page. Let's use that one. Let's use that one. I have started doing envelopes down here to put my book page stuff in, and I need to I need to add those. Now, I've also had a request. I'm going to look in here for see if I've got a crow in here at some point, because I've had a request to do a Poe uh, card using my uh, doing the memory decks, and I don't know if I'll get to a Poe or not, but I will do Poe at some time, at some point, because I have somebody who wants Poe. So I'm just going to tear this around. Let's use classify. It's on this side. Chapter, chalk. I'm going to take and tear this off. Get those out of the way. Now, I still need something up here, and I think, I think I still need a moon up there, and I know what I'm going to use. Hold that. Oh, wait a minute. I should have a moon in my, I might have a moon in my, but if I don't, I've got that, but I don't really want yellow. I'm looking for the rest of my pages from, oh yeah, that's what I need. That's the yellow I want to use, and there's a tag. But I'm looking through my Hocus Pocus stuff and see if I have, there's a moon. There is a moon. I thought there was one on here. So I'm going to take and cut this out really fast. Now, if I had a punch, I could just punch this out really quick, which I have a punch coming. I ordered three new um, punches from Stampin' Up! in grading sizes. So I will have a punch that will punch this out. I won't necessarily have to get my die cutting system out just to die cut one thing, which I'm really looking forward to. Of course, it means I'll have three or four new punches in my shop or in my studio, but yeah, it's okay. Now I'm going to dust this a little bit. And then we'll come back and glue this down. Your pieces do not have to be elaborate. Now if, if doing lots of pieces is your style, that's fine. You do you, as Tim says. I'm not into doing a whole bunch of stuff. And see, I'm just laying this over here, dusting this around, and then I'll come in. I'm also not a fan of using the glue stick, so Tombow it is. And we'll come back, and let's dust that as well. And I'm just going to run down the edges of this nut. Nothing spectacular. Just in case there's some 
trims there that I don't want. Okay. So we have stenciling, a quote, and a book page. And that's it for our index cards for this week. Oh, I'm going to pick the milk up. Yeah, pick the milk up. Pick the glue up. But there are my two index cards. Next week, this will be dry, and I will show you how this one turned out. In the meantime, remember to stop back by tomorrow for our day 19 of the 31 days of Halloween, doing October Daily Memory Deck style. And I will see you tomorrow. Remember to like, to share, subscribe, and click the notification bell because we're not done yet. Create a blessings.